Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to share with you guys my current skincare routine. So I'm going to show you what I do for the mornings and the evenings and basically what the products I use on my face are. It's going to be a long video because there's a lot. So first I'll show you guys a tour of what my kind of closet shelf looks like in my bathroom. As a disclaimer, it's really, really messy. So please don't judge me. I try to clean it, but yeah, the shelves are just really stained with oil. I really can't do much about it, so my bad. But yes, let's move on to it. And also, can we just appreciate how good the skin is without any makeup? I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> okay, so here is my cabinet situation. Hello. And um, let's just open it. My voice is very deep because I just woke up and it's like lacking hydration. So if I sound a bit scary, yes. So here it is. I really like how it has a mirror. This is my current skincare. Ta da! There's a lot there. That isn't skincare, so we'll ignore the top shelf, but this is what I have on my plate so far. I don't use everything every day, I use it on a rotation. So, this is just a quick tour of what everything looks like. And I also, on the side, I have my bathroom stuff. So, let's take a look at that as well. So, this is currently what's going on in the shower. So, you know, I have my conditioner, body wash, and shampoo. I have my um, body scrub, my cleanser, another, this is a face um, exfoliator but I use it as a body scrub as well, it's really really good and my oil cleanser. So that's that in my bathroom, very minimal and I want to keep it that way. So switching back to my shelf situation, let me just quickly change the camera angle and just show you guys how I use everything. So I'll show you first my morning routine and what I usually would do. I have kind of like three sets of what I normally do. First I usually start my morning routine with an antioxidant toner or essence so lately i've been gravitating towards these two this is from element and you can see there's like not much left i really love this toner this is the centella asiatica and polysaccharide this one's really really good um advanced calming solution almost out of this really like it and i've also been using the mugwort essence and in the morning you realize that i actually don't cleanse my face because i think my nighttime routine is pretty solid i don't want to take away that from me i just wash my face so yeah that's something I do. So after my toner and um, essence, I usually go in with some serums. First, I'll show you guys my sunscreen set, which means I usually use this in combination with sunscreen. I don't use a moisturizer that day, which is the most common thing I do. I don't like using moisturizer and then another sunscreen. I just find it really heavy and there's not much point. The sunscreens are hydrating enough and moisturizing enough. So I usually go in with the Dear Claire's Freshly Juiced Vitamin Drop and one of these sunscreens. These are my focus sunscreens right now. So this one's from the Pure Lotus. This one's really nice. It does have a citrus scent to it. So if you have sensitive skin, beware. And the other one I've been loving so much is the Abib Heart Leaf Essence Drop, Sun Essence. This one is so cool. It's basically a serum, but it's a sunscreen. Like, look at that. It is so thin and easy to apply. I used it today. It's just really, really good. You can just keep on using it and it feels amazing on the skin. So that's the combination I usually use, but sometimes I also, when I don't want to use a sunscreen, um, I use this Claire's Freshly Juice Vitamin E Mask. These two, killer combination, so good together. I like to use them together when I don't want to wear sunscreen. Usually that's because I'm wearing makeup and my makeup has a lot of SPF. I have um, an SPF 50 primer, my concealer and foundation usually have SPF so I can just go in with a normal mask and moisturizer. This one again is really cool. Claire's makes some really cool um, products. So this is almost like a milk pudding texture. Essentially, you can take some and it creates a dent, right? But the dent, it's self-repairing. It's so cool. You guys need to try this out. Um, these are great combinations together. Next, I want to share with you guys a serum I also love a lot. This is the Purito Centella Green Level Buffet Serum. Again, not too much left. And this again is fragrance. It has a citrus scent. So sensitive skin, beware. Um, I combine this usually with the uh, Vitamin E Mask. These are also really great together. So this replaces sunscreen. It is a thicker jelly consistency. So I find that in the winter time, which is what it is right now, it just hydrates and moisturizes my face, which is so much better than just a regular moisturizer. Another combination I really love is the Ordinary um, Pycnogenol 5% and the bee oil. So use this first and then a bead oil on top. Again, this is for days when I want to wear makeup or if I'm just lounging at home and there's like no sun, I just want to stay inside. 
because oil is not the best to wear when you're going outside into the sun. It's like baking your own face. You don't want to do that, like frying your face. I know you should wear sunscreen every day and I preach that a lot. Unfortunately, I don't practice what I preach. I don't like sunscreen. I was just so traumatized from when I was younger with like the white cast and the heavy oiliness that I don't really like sunscreen. I'm trying to change that and use it more often nowadays, but this is for cheat days when I don't want to wear sunscreen and I'm just at home. And it's a very like cloudy, rainy day. So really good combination and really affordable. Last but not least for the serum category in the morning, I have this caffeine solution with ECG. This is one of my favorite serums. I repurchased this already. This is my second one. Essentially what this does is that in the morning, I usually wake up with very puffy eyes. You can see it's still puffy right now. You just put some of this around the contours of your eyes and it de-puffs. Not instantly, but you can definitely see the results. It has this nice cooling effect and I really like using this when I didn't get a good night's sleep or when I was watching a sad movie and I cried. <laughs> this one's really good. That's it for my morning routine. Very simple. Sometimes when I'm feeling very, very fancy, what I would do is I use a facial mist in between my layers of sunscreen. So I usually put two layers of sunscreen. So sunscreen, facial mist, sunscreen, facial mist again. That's how I usually would do it. This one's really good. It's from Kahi, the Wrinkle Balance Collagen Mist Ample. Very, very nice. Again, a little bit fragranced, um, but check it out. It's pretty good. I find that it really hydrates my face and it feels perfect and so amazing. Now I'm going to move on to the bulk of my skincare routine, which is my nighttime routine. Very, very chaotic. Let's get to it. So, um, again, there's a lot here, so I'll just start with each individual category and show you guys how I would normally use it. I won't show you the sets I usually use because it changes all the time, but we'll start first with the exfoliators. I don't like using physical exfoliators that much, but I do like using toner pads. And toner pads, usually you are physically exfoliating because you're pressing it against your skin. So I'm going to show you guys two of my current favorite toner pads. So these are two I've been loving a lot lately. This one is from Abib, one of my new favorite skincare brands. They just make such quality products. This is the Heartleaf Spot Pad. This one's really good. And the pad itself is actually quite almost intended for physical exfoliation because it has those like edges and it's a bit harder. Whereas this is to the I'm from Beat Refresh Pad. This is a newer release. This one is like an actual sheet mask and it's just so soft and soaks up essence. It's really good. It doesn't do too much exfoliating, but definitely when you're pressing against your skin, it is exfoliating your face. Very subtly, but still exfoliating. I'll just quickly show you guys how big this is. It's like my entire cheek. I usually just use two. And what I would do is I would put it on my face, let it soak in for, you know, about 10 minutes and then take it off and wipe it around my face so I get the full kind of benefits of it and then with that I would then put it on my neck and soak it in for a while and then take it off. If there's still essence left, I actually put it on my arms as well. I don't want to waste it. This stuff is expensive but it really feels luxurious and I love using toner pads so I really really love these. Highly recommend. Kind of big theme of Christmas. You guys saw from a previous video how I would remove my makeup so I'm going to gloss over that. You guys know how I would really treat my skin so what I'm going to do now is just show you some staple favorites in my collection. Personally, I'm not the biggest fan of using exfoliating serums. I use exfoliating toners because in my head, they're a bit milder. I'm not sure if that's correct or not, but at the moment it's working for me. I prefer using exfoliating toners and these two are my favorites. I would just put it on my hands and pat it in. I don't need another exfoliating like pad or cotton pad because I find that might be a little bit too much and too intense for my skin. But these are really good. This one's by Wish Trend, the Mandelic Acid, and this one's by Benson Cosmetics. This is the Aloe BHA. Um, this actually is an older version of it. The product is exactly the same, but they changed the packaging, which I'm so happy. The current packaging is like this pump and it's really messy. It's hard to get things out. I think they changed it into more like a normal um, toner applicator, which is really good. These two are fabulous. Don't use them in the same time. Use them like one or the other. I use these maybe like twice a week. Like so, once a week, each of them. So don't exfoliate too much. Next, I'm going to show you guys two current toners that I've been loving. Um, again, a lot of love. This one's from Isn't Tree. This is the Green Tea Fresh Toner. I just really like this one because it does the job. It's very hydrating. And 
I also like the Thank You Farmer Rice Toner. This is said to be a dupe for the I'm From Rice Toner. I haven't tried that one yet. That was next on my trying list after I finished this one. But this one's a very thick consistency and I feel like it's perfect for winter where you just want to lock in all the moisture. And there's no um, scent to this one, so it's really good. I like this one. Try it out. It's much more affordable than the I'm From Toner as well, so I really like it. And this one is definitely worth the hype. Next, we're going to move on to some serums. I love serums, it's one of my favorite categories. And the two I've been loving a lot lately are from Skin Food. So this one is the Royal Honey Propolis Serum. This one's really, really good. It's very nice for just calming down the skin and repairing your skin barrier, which tends to happen with me. It breaks down a lot. So this one's amazing. It's so good and the packaging is so luxurious, am I right? I really like the applicator because it's kind of quite fun. You just press it and then you can get it and press it again to release the product. It's very, very fun. I really like this one, it does a great job. And another one I've been using a lot is the Carrot Carotene Moist Effect. This one's just for moisturizing. It doesn't do too much repairing, but it's quite fun and easy to use. I just really like it. Um, for my serums, I usually just want them to hydrate and repair my um, skin barrier. So that's all I need from them. Next, I wanna talk about two creams and Thicker essences. So this is from Cosrx. This is their snail combination. This is the Snail 92 All-in-One Cream. Very, very lovely for just putting all over. Very sticky texture as well. You can see I hit pan on it. It's almost empty. Very nice as a second last step. One common mistake people make is they think this is a moisturizer. This is not a moisturizer. This is the final step before it because it's so sticky and it has that like effect that it kind of dries your face, it doesn't suck in moisture, it keeps the moisture in your face but it doesn't attract any moisture so don't use it as a moisturizer. This is the Snail 96 Essence, this one's really good, I haven't used enough of it yet because I want to start using this more and focusing on it after the cream but I've used it a few times and I've been really loving it, it just is a great ingredient. Snail kind of just reinforces everything you want in a skincare routine. This is alcohol and fragrance free. You guys really need this if you feel like your skin is really red and sensitive because I found that whenever my skin is hormonal and I use a snail ingredient in my routine, it helps calm it down so much. Really good. Definitely recommend. Another cream that I've been loving is the Sun By Me. Um, 30 Day Miracle Cream. Again, this is not a moisturizer. I use this as spot treatment, so there's quite a lot left. I just put on my spots and hope for the best. It's a lot of exfoliants in here. You have HA, BHA, PHA, so this is just meant for spot treatment. Don't use this as an like all-over cream. Doesn't do that much. We're going to move on to the final step, which is moisturizer. I do like to use moisturizer at night. Um, I use sleeping masks mostly after makeup because it's thicker, but on normal days, moisturize does it. But these are the three I've been focusing on. Not so much this one. This is the Claire's Fundamental Water Gel Cream. This one's very light, so I like to use this in the warm weather when my skin is just very, very oily, but right now it's a bit too cold and my skin's too dry for it. But this one's a great option, very light and easy to use. So if you're just starting out with skincare, I really recommend that one. But these are the two I've been loving so far. This one is from Medi Peel. This is the Golden Age Tox Cream. This one's so cool because basically it's like this clear gel, but inside has these droplets of more thick moisturizer. I just feel like it looks so luxurious and my skin feels so good after this. It's just so easy to apply and it feels like it smooths over everything. And the next day when I wake up with this, my skin is so soft. I really love this. This is just great. And the last one is the I'm From Honey Glow Cream. Very standard moisturizer, if I'm being honest. It's just a lot thicker than normal ones. But again, it has honey, which is a really great skincare ingredient for repairing the skin. And it is just this beautiful, thick, lathering texture. I think it smells a little bit like wax. So very natural scent. I do like using this a lot, um, but it is a very standard moisturizer. It's just good. <laughs> There's nothing bad to say about it. Really, really like it. And again, the packaging is just adorable. I really love it. I'm also going to show you guys two items that I use very, very sparingly. I use it like once a month, but I want to show you guys anyway because I do like them a lot. First is a clay mask. This is from Isn't Tree. It's the mugwort mask. This one's really good for just sucking out the oils and gunk in your pores and skin. I like to use this once a month, like I said, because 
it is drying because it is a clay mask and I want to avoid drying my skin out in winter but this one's really good and it's really good for calming the skin down love it and the next one is again from Medipeel this is a neck cream I know people hate on neck creams a lot and personally I don't find they do much of a contribution to my skin but it feels really good so this neck cream I'm going to show you it is it feels like it's almost like a snail ingredient skincare because it's so like slimy and it has like these threads even though it doesn't have snail and putting it on your neck just feels so thick and luxurious I love putting it on when I feel a bit stressed and I just want some pick-me-up skincare and that one is just a go-to for me also real quick going to talk about some products that I use as well um, this is from Inky List. this is their succinct acid i actually don't know how you pronounce it but this is a spot treatment i've been testing this one out i don't know how it's working yet but i hopefully want to get rid of this white hair on my face it's been here for a few months so hopefully this one works out but inky list in general is a great brand they have really affordable products so i'm trying this one out so far and it's looking promising these are the lip balms i'm using so this one is my purple ointment very efficient does the job i really like it and the next one is from pixie this is a lip mask it's the vitamin e lip mask it's tinted so it's a little bit pink you can see i had some on my face today um does anyone else's lipstick look like that surely not just me but yeah, this one's very nice. It's very thick. So I love it for the winter. These are great. I love using lip balms. But yes, that is it for my skincare routine. I'm so happy to share this with you guys. And I hope you guys find some products you're interested in. Let me know if you want some detailed reviews on individual products. But that is what I'm loving so far. And yeah, they're all holy grails. They're so, so good. And as you can see, many of them, I truly use them a lot. I'm not just saying they're there i genuinely use them and i'm trying to try new products every day i like to use other products rather than getting like 10 million and then just use them once for a while because the whole thing about skincare is it needs to be consistent you don't really see effects until after like the 28 day 30 day mark so it's important to be consistent i'm really excited to finish up some of these skincare and try new ones but Aside from that, that is it for today. Let me know, do you see any products that you currently use in your routine and what are some products you recommend me to try? But aside from that, that is it for today and I'll see you guys for the next one.